This hair grease was too thick and it didn't work for me. Be cautious with this ingredient. Okay. As you may or may not know, I have tried a lot of hair greases since being on my natural hair growth journey. Today I am exploring the Camille Rose Grow Grease, formerly known as the Hair Grower. I'm going to be talking about the texture, smell, price and ingredients. And I think the best place to start is the ingredients because you want to know why this hair grease is so confident in letting us know that it grows your hair. So the first ingredient I'll start with is the first on the list, which is castor oil. Now castor oil has been on the scene for a pretty long time. The reasons being benefits of castor oil, promotes hair growth, prevents dandruff, controls frizz, and potentially prevents graying. Now, speaking of graying, I recently did a video where I talked about the Morgan's hair grease and I pronounced it as pomade. But a few of you pointed out and wanted to let me know that it's not pronounced pomade, it's pronounced pomade. So just so there's no confusion, I have now launched my new merch line known as It's Pronounced Pomade. This line is now available on my fourth wall merch shop and you can check it out with the link in the description box down below. So back to the second ingredient of this hair grease pomade pomade solution. The next ingredient is hemp oil. Hemp oil is known to stimulate hair growth, strengthen roots, treats dandruff, moisturizes hair and scalp. Now I also saw on a website that it helps with eczema and psoriasis. So if you do have psoriasis on your scalp, claims to be able to manage it and I suppose over time eliminate it. So far, the castor oil and the hemp oil, they're amazing. But what this product does contain, be cautious with this next ingredient, and it's sesame seed oil. Now, the reason why I said to be cautious with this one is because I know that there are allergies for sesame seed oil. Just be aware, guys, read the ingredients. But if you do not have any adverse reactions to sesame seed oil, these are the benefits you can gain from that. So it nourishes hair follicles, retains natural hair color, can prevent hair from sun damage, and soothes the scalp. Now I find it quite interesting. I like the fact that you've got a sunscreen from the sesame seed oil. Next ingredient is paraffin, and that's obviously to give it the flexible hold, but I'll talk more about that in a minute. Yes, it contains paraffin. Right, so this ingredient, I've never actually heard of, but this is what it contains. And I've done a bit of research to see what this ingredient is for. Brahmi oil, B-R-A-H-M-I oil. And again, it's known for preventing graying. Just, just, let's just get the gray hair elephant out of the room, guys. I'm not opposed to turning gray just wanted to temporarily delay the grain process or cover them just temporarily that's besides the point but as I said if you are interested in covering your grays this might be an alternative and last but not least sulfur this is the one I was waiting to get onto sulfur if you're familiar with sulfur products such as sulfur 8 it just has that scent but i will get onto the smell in a minute so sulfur it says reduces hair loss and known to prolong the growth phase of the hair cycle with that being said let's lead on to the smell may be the reason that i can't use this product if you saw my sulfur 8 product review i had to buy two sulfur 8s i bought the original and i bought the light one because the scent for me, I don't know what it is, it's just bitter. So this is the dilemma that I have. Now when it comes to the Camille Rose, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit disappointed. Now it doesn't smell extremely bad, and the initial scent is... It's like a balm, like a lavendery type of lemony, vanillary, and then the sulfur hits you. Now it's not as strong as sulfur 8, but... It's very, very pronounced. If that's not a problem for you, that's fine, guys. And to be honest, I'm not wasting a tin of £8.99 hair grease, especially if it can grow my hair. You can mix it with different oils to kind of mask the scent. So I'm just going to quickly talk about the price. I paid £8.99 for this. So I've been seeing it between a price range of £8.99 and £10, right? One of the selling points, no pun intended for me, is the price. And the fact that hair grease is so low priced makes it a staple for me because as I said, if it's something that, I'm not to say I won't splash out on something that's really good, don't get me wrong guys, I'm not that frugal. But if it's something for my hair that I need to use consistently, I will like it at an affordable price, you know what I mean? And I don't think I'm gonna be paying $8.99 every month for a product where I can get 
more for the money. However, with that being said, would you need to repurchase it every single month? Maybe not. And what I'm talking about, guys, is the texture. Now, as you can see, the size is quite small for the tin. This tin size is four ounces. But, as you can see, when you go into it, again, it's like a bomb and it's a little bit waxy. I wouldn't necessarily describe it as a hair grease, even though it does say grow grease. Ooh. It reminds me of the Murray's wax, just not as sticky. So it's in between a hard hair grease and a wax. You can use it on your edges to lay them down, but another thing you can do to lay it down on your strand, if you've got any flyaways, you can just smooth them down. Someone said that it's really re-greasy in their Amazon review, and someone else said that the grease just goes away. Now for me, I'm gonna rub it on my skin. It doesn't feel super smooth, ever so slightly tacky. Need that little bit of tack to smooth down the flyaways. But I think, as I said, you need that because that shows that it's got holes. So that's not a bad thing. So let me just quickly read over the product like I like to do. Camille Rose. Apply to scalp edges and gently massage with fingertips. If I am going to apply this to my edges, as I said, I'd use it more so as a, as a means to lay down my edges. So I wouldn't necessarily be massaging it. May be used daily for maximum results. Do not rinse until next scheduled wash. This is the thing, you can't wash it out because it's got to do what it's got to do, right? And you might want to mix it with some oils to mask the fragrance a little, then I suppose that will work. However, you've got to bear in mind that if you do add an oil to it, it will change the texture, so it's not necessarily going to do in regards to the hold what it says it does. Key benefits, stimulates growth, aids in length retention, and soothes dry, itchy scalp. Now, as I've mentioned before, the ingredients that it contains, such as the castor oil and even the sulfur, these are things that help to stimulate growth, especially especially the sulfur, as I said. I do think this product will deliver on what it promises to do. With that being said, I think I'm gonna go and read the reviews on Amazon. So the first one says, I buy this all of the time. Only thing that will keep my 4C hair looking and feeling good with moisture. Now, some people I know are not familiar with the hair typing and I myself don't necessarily go by hair typing. I mention it because I know some people are familiar with it and it just kind of gives you an idea. A lot of people say that this works well for their 4C hair and I'm assuming it's not only just the ingredients in the product but it's the hold as well. Someone else put, it has a slight smell of sulfur but I don't find it unpleasant at all, especially combined with other hair products that smell so wonderful to mask the smell. So there you go. They haven't actually said that whilst masking the smell, it changes the texture and they haven't elaborated on what products they mix with it, but they said it's not that bad. These aren't necessarily all just biased, good reviews, five-star reviews. I have looked and the majority of them are really good reviews. This one says a little goes a long way. I have 4C Afro hair and used to get a flaky and itchy scalp, but after using this, I no longer do. Where it says a little goes a long way, this brings me back to the price point. You won't necessarily need to keep repurchasing it as often as a large amount of hair grease. So I think this size is actually a good idea. If you had it in a tub, would that be too much? This is three stars, so three out of five stars. It says this hair grease was too thick and the smell isn't that great. I purchased it to help with dry itchy scalp and it didn't work for me. So again, guys, not everything works for everybody. You just have to figure it out and try it yourself. I did want to do um, a, 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 a test on this to see if I noticed any growth and obviously it does talk about getting rid of greys but you know we're not on that topic today. If you are looking for a more affordable hair grease that does contain sulphur you can check out my Do Grow and Sulphur 8 reviews now.